How's it going everyone? It's Andrew here again from Learn Rider. We are looking at tank bags today, uh, looking at how we can design them, input from you, what I should do, which direction we should go with this. And um, if you're new here, well, what we do is we talk about yeah, product design, especially for motorcycle, adventure motorcycles. And uh, I get feedback from you guys, you guys leave me comments and reply to me by email. And then we, 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 we add that to the product and uh, you yeah, manufacture it. So it's um, build by community and uh, let's get into it. So the, the, the first thing I want to look at is um, uh, the tank bag, what's on the market and how, um, what, what features that we, we want to look at, look into, uh, which features are the most important. Um, so there's two types basically, there's quick release and there's straps. The straps are um, cheaper and easier to implement, but um, for the end user, uh, a bit more fiddly. So the straps just basically, they can fit to most bikes as well. With the quick release system, there's a few quick release designs here. Um, much easier to attach to the bike and a bit more clean. So I think we are going to have to um, do both um, because a lot of guys firstly don't like the strap system because it scratches the tank um, and also it's just usability. Um, I've used um, both before. Um, I love the quick release. So that's the two different styles. We're probably going to do both uh, because it's essentially the same bag, but we just we can add and remove these kind of connecting points here. Um, so we can also have uh, fitments for each bike. Uh, it get, can get quite complicated. So I guess um, we're going to try and make it simple for the first one and then build it out from there. Uh, let's look at the next slide. So this is the, yeah, this is what's on the market. Um, there's a few different types here. There is um, the this one, the, um, SW Motec one looks good. They've just in, they've just improved it. Um, uh, that's a that's probably the leader in the market right now. Um, that's the goal at least to get to get something that works as well as that. They have a, um, a utility painted on that, so um, they're protecting their design, which is fair enough. There's a lot of years of work gone into that, so um, we will not like uh, we will steer clear of this for sure. And then you got the Givi style. This is an Italian brand. Um, that looks that, that clips on quite easily and you use this red lever to remove this Oxford um, this one here is from Hippo and Becker this is um, this is a German brand uh, it looks strange with these two things but they've got magnets in it and it fits I'm not sure how it works um, then we've got these three pin systems which is quite solid so what I want in a quick release system and if you have any other ideas tell me um, it's got to be magnet so it's easy to locate so you don't have to look for holes or anything it just clips on um, instant lock, so there's no need to, once you put it on and locks in place, you don't need to lock it again. It just clip, clips on, locks and done. Um, you can buy an extra set for the second bike if you have more than two bikes, if you're lucky enough. Uh, it's secure, so it won't fly off when you're riding around. Uh, it looks good on bikes, so when the when the actual quick release, when the bag is off the bike and you don't use it, then it's not obtrusive, the quick release system. So what's stuck on the bike is looking sharp. Uh, easy to release from fixed point. So if you want to release it, you can just quickly release it. Uh, will not interfere with gas lid, so you can open and close the, you know, you can put petrol on your bike uh, and non-intrusive. Uh, it just does, it just melts away, hopefully, and works on many bikes um, and could be, um, have a power cable going to it. Might be quite difficult to add a power cable to it, but possible, we'll do that. This is one of the first ideas I had, is just like having these three pins. This is. Um, there's another company that did this similar stuff here. Um, I'm not sure who they are, but um, this is, I've used this kind of three pin systems, very common um, in the world of engineering and uh, with some magnets, it's very um, low profile. Uh, we can make these out of um, aluminum or something like that, quite low profile and slick looking um, quite, and it will suit the bike. Um, this is just an option. This is the first idea I had um, to do it and we can just, we can play around with this as long as these three points stay in the same place if you look on top as long as these three points stay in the same place uh we can change the the whole layout and the size for different bikes um just the first idea i mean yeah we're going to start from we've got to start from somewhere i've got several other ideas coming and i'll show you next week uh and get your feedback but um this is uh, quite an easy and very common in engineering uh, many products have it um, so we know it works and we know it works well uh, the tank system, there's also the on tank system, which is, uh, so give you here, have a kind of like a, um, a harness system that fits to the bike, um, magnet system. There's even here sucker system. And then you've got the traditional strap system. Um, 
that's a I've used this bag before uh, I used to use it quite a bit so I do know this brick bag quite well um, it's good it was good it lasted the zip broke um, though I, I eventually broke the zip but I'll come to that later then basically tank form should it it should really fit to the tank so we will I guess make bike specific tank bags uh, maybe a generic flat one and then for for many bikes and then we have the smaller um, or the, the, the conformed form tank bag so once we get the the core design and we get something that we really like then we'll start making the different forms of it so that's another interesting issue we don't want it I've seen some of the bikes that just pop out here pop out the back here and it just looks weird you know we want we want something that works well this is the air intake on the beamer but um, yeah other bikes don't really have it um, let's move on um, concealed gun pockets what do you think do we need one uh, I think it's interesting we can put one in uh, it's definitely the Americans will definitely love that I um, guess it doesn't have to be much I guess there are options there we just have to make it a, a size big enough for the pistol um, we can use yeah we can we can we can just get a basic pistol and uh, test that uh, that shouldn't be a problem this is this slide shouldn't really be in this order but it is so the next slide is actually um, a design that we did from 2019 which is two years ago actually 2018 uh, and then uh, then we, we, we moved on to other projects and kind of put this one on ice and we're coming back to it now so this was the first raw concept designs that um, I was working on back then um, and since then other uh, brands have been putting out a few uh, similar to this so I don't know um, we, we have to look into what's really going on in the market uh, this one was just to have a moly system on top so this suits the motor bags and the overlander this will suit the range of products um, and this would be the side just one pocket in the side very simple clear this is not the final design I just designed this we can this is a starting point right so for, we, we I'm open definitely open to options here with a power inlet it can hold the a, a, a phone a tablet or a map for the old schoolers um, on the like this is a question that I have also for the clothes. I use this back thing on the back this is the, looking at the back so your stomach would be touching this part and uh, I was thinking about putting a mesh thing there and where you can actually put your gloves in because that's one of the only features I like outside the bag is having a, like a small zip for rubbish and um, small tools maybe uh, a knife and then um, putting you know, you know first thing when you get off your bike what do you do you take your, your gloves off um, before your helmet before anything gloves are the first ones right so you want to put them somewhere and they kind of fly you don't want to lose them so um, I don't like this kind of weaving system it just seems to be kind of outdated um, so I was looking at a, a mesh system but if you have any ideas let me know please um, I, I want to put it in there somehow um, I was thinking about using um, a magnetic system here or a buckle system uh, UTX buckle UTX buckles are quite strong uh, the, yeah the, the best ones uh, or you could use magnetic and then just pull it open which is quite nice to automatic locking inside is a like a map case actually it's for carnet de passage carnet de passage is a basically a, pa a passport for your bike when you're traveling across borders it gives them you that means you don't have to leave a deposit for the bike uh, for to import or export the bike it's import export papers um, yeah so that's I found that quite useful when I'm traveling around Africa this bag here this is a Turatec one by the looks um, that's a new one I think it's actually made by it looks like it's made by um, Juristan but the, um, basically what it'd be removed I showed you this so it's removable do it do we have this kind of system where I can remove something because you rip it out and you go to the um, office the border office um, it's quite good to remove this whole thing so basically when you remove it from your bike you either take the whole tank bag which I never did um, or you just take this kind of like Canada Passage wallet, bike wallet, and then you're good to go. Or do I just have a, like a big open storage for the for the 99% of, of times where you won't be crossing borders on daily life? So yeah, if you if if you th have an idea for the lid part, obviously it can't be too heavy. Uh, let me know what you think about having something in the lid area there, uh, either something like uh, a removable pocket or like a mesh pocket like this one at the top here where you can put your stuff in it's uh, for the locking system I was going to lock it make it lockable as well so it can be lockable here is a just a um, a loop a metal loop bar that you can put a lock on it's probably more for show you could probably what we could probably do is put them into the zips and then hang a lock there I think it's more if someone wants to get in there they will especially if it's soft like uh, luggage 
it's more of a deterrent. So they see it, they say, oh, it's got a lock on it, it's too much effort, I can't be bothered. They'll steal your mate's one that doesn't have a lock on it. That's that's the way they think, they're, they're opportunists, right? Um, and if they wanted to get in because they're really desperate, then they'll get in, they'll just rip the whole bag off. So let's just, let's be honest. But ripping the whole bag off is another thing. Um, we should lock it to the bike as well. We can lock it, and that's what we definitely will do. Um, have that option to pull out something, uh, wrap it around some part of the bike, and then lock the bag on. So if they do pull it, then they, yeah, they'll, yeah, it doesn't come off. Um, so this, I was thinking for the inside, what we're going to do is have a divider, just like the pannier pack and um, tail bag, just to stop stuff moving around. And what's also really good about it, if you put stuff in, that you can um, split your gear up for a start, and secondly. All the small bits you can put in the back here and then all the bigger bits at the front and it all doesn't all you know how it all piles up in the bottom here so basically the tank bag is like half full because it's all in this this corner here that's what the inside's for so there's a few um a few different ways to make a tank bag we're going to probably keep because we want it waterproof 100 percent waterproof you don't want to bother with, it, with these, these cape things these covers we don't want anything to do with that but there's an easy way to make them seem like pretty waterproof and we did that with the um, pannier bag on top of the pannier and also the tail pack that we use um, is, is it's RF welded so it's uh, radio frequency they weld the materials together and there's a few examples here of welding um, Moscow do one uh, that looks like it's welded on top um, and it's welded this buckle here is welded and it's all waterproof they use like a lid system which is interesting um, all these are different are welded together it's um, just gives us more um, it's actually harder and, and more expensive than sewing, but um, we do get that waterproof effect, which is which is good. So that's the options for RF welding. That, well, that's with some examples, and um, and there's some other sewn markers. There's another one from Moscow. Um, that's a that I've, I've heard that's a good bag. And then there's um, Held, which is I guess it's a German company, and then BMW do it as well. And they've sewn this this part on. This is that looks like it's welded rf welded together but it's not it'd be um so that's the other option i think we, we're definitely going to go with the rf i just wanted to show you what we're doing um we can do so and later but um, at the moment um so for the hooded or zips like uh i've i had a lot of problems with my zips and getting dirt in them they need ma maintenance right you need to maintain your zips they're not going to last forever so if you look at the top here there's this picture here you got uh, 10v uh, down to a five it's just the teeth size so if you got a motor bag like a bag that's getting dust in it all the time you you want a big tooth to grind through like just basically beat out all that uh that, that dirt and dust um, and grime so that's an option we're going to do probably if we're going to do a zip we're going to use the bigger tooth uh and then um that's that's gonna, that's the only way because the true zips and the real waterproof zips um they actually they will break after and they're very expensive as well um the technology is there and actually the the price is coming down on these so hopefully in the future we can um, implement them but at the moment they're used for dive suits drives drives dry dive suits and stuff extremely expensive um the other option is to have a hood i don't know like a like a top they uh, this is a moscow one they use kind of like a in a house the same kind of co concept is just like a seal and then they have like a flap down the bottom to stop that negative, um, that, that if there's negative pressure inside the bag, stop those beads of water getting sucked up into it. Um, that's another, the other option that seems to be a few manufacturers are starting to do that now. It's used on other bags, um, so now it's being used on motor, uh, tank bags. That's another option we'll look into uh, if we can do that. Um, I haven't heard too much about this tank bag, if it's uh, a good one or not, but I guess it, I guess it is. Um, yeah, that's the two options we're going for. Let me know which one you want. Um, I'm tending towards the hood style, this one here, this 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 style, because um, I just want a product that you guys can have. For, like, you don't need it. It's ten year. It's got a ten year lifespan minimum, you know. And these materials, that's a long time to thrash. So, and daily uses, daily usage of ten years, not uh, not every month, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm tending towards this because it's just less parts and less breakable, um, breakable. What's the perfect size? Um, I don't think I'm going to do it adjustable yet because, uh, it's quite complicated to make it adjustable, but, um, 
the tummy per for size I've, I've heard under 10 uh, under 15 liters and I've heard of also over 50, like 15 to 20 liters is the perfect size I might I could put in a zip from the bottom and make it um, go up like this and make a bit give a bit more strength at the bottom but having this kind of if you see the Turatec one here there's a there's a um, floppy part at the top I had that I've had this bag before I've had several tank bags and this one was just like flopping around and you know, I only really used it for um, carrying beer back from like the shop you know it's like you're just getting home from riding and then you've got no more space every anywhere else or you can't be bothered opening up something I don't know just lazy I'm just lazy and I just use that that's the only time I used it otherwise you put it in the back um, yeah so it's just well tell me what you want what size you think is perfect I'm gonna do a camera padded insert for the guys I've heard this a few times it's pretty um, it should be too hard to do, um, do. it's been yeah this this stuff is quite common other feedback we don't want to scratch the paint it's waterproof without a cover uh, conforms to tank shape uh, USB different colors available yep that could be possible but we've got MIQs so we've got a, a minimum order quantities so maybe not first off but We'll make it match our other bags first, but in the future for sure. Uh, side and rear external pockets for um, all this kind of stuff. So we'll definitely add that in. Shoulder straps so you can wear it as a backpack and carry handle on the top end. We'll add all the stuff. This is stock standard stuff. If you have any more feedback, um, let me know. Uh, uh, so the lens about I don't wear glasses, so I don't. I'm, that's why I'm asking you. If you wear glasses or have lens, what do I do? What What's the best way? Um, should we put uh, a cover in like this or do you want a soft bag a little soft thing uh, lens what, yeah what do you carry your lenses in or do with those do you need them even need them in the tank bag or are they in your yeah your toiletry bag um what is what is the go there uh inside pockets as well um we're going to do like this one here i use this one here um the, this kind of pockets that um wallets um, do you need any extra wallets or something like that inside or any kind of other compartmental stuff? I put it in there because um, I, I did have the stuff in my bag. So I'm just wondering if you guys did. Uh, and we will put in, uh, we already make a reservoir, water reservoir. So I will try and like make sure that fits in there somehow as well. Um, it's not the top, top priority because it's kind of a, it's it's not the top top priority but um, I'll definitely attempt to put that in there um, and charging um, I saw this actually quite cool it was like a fabric charging you can put cable management I like that so like obviously everyone has phones these days and wants to charge their GoPros and all that kind of stuff um, we can maybe add this system here which is kind of like a like a, a little toothbrush you just clip it on it's plastic plastic and then it, when it hits um, then it starts charging we could add this into the bike so you just if your gears in there so you're at your coffee shop you plug it in you take the bike to the the, the bag to the bike and you put it on and it starts charging automatically that would be very cool um, but yeah give me feedback on that too I, but tell me what you want you guys have had the experience with um, a lot more tank bags than I have I've had several but um, maybe you know something I don't know and we could add that into the product so yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for sticking with me, the five people for this long. And uh, we'll see you next week with another video on the quick release system and we'll give you updates uh, about what um, feedback I got. I'll show you all the feedback I get from you guys and then we can take do the next step. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend.